tell because Danny is out sick. So, and we also happen to lose our uh, guest. So this will be a short show today. Uh, quickly, please be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, you know, leave a comment here. Um, <clears throat> I am streaming and viewing questions live, so if you guys are interested in dropping a comment in, I did want to mention that, uh, you know, Kevin, who was supposed to be here today, will be back with us next week. He had a medical emergency. So, uh, Catalyst Pharma, to whoever asked that question last week, we will definitely be addressing that here in the future. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. <clears throat> And just like everybody else here, I'd say that uh, please be sure to invest in some sort of medical type, uh, you know, stock soon because it seems like uh, flu season is here and it is not going away. I had a touch of it. Sounds like Danny's got a touch of it and it might even be Kevin who has a touch of it too yet. So it's uh, been a good time here on the offices. But uh, in the meantime, let's kind of just go over some quick things. Um, we had talked about uh, the you know, trade war is always because it's huge news and, you know, you can't kind of escape it at all. So that being the case, um, I'm actually going to say, and I'm, oh, I got my sound effects back. So now you guys are really in trouble um, that I was wrong. I know. I know you guys are totally surprised, right? But, uh, yeah, I was wrong. Uh, they didn't wait until uh, 2020. The Chinese and Trump are kind of trying to figure their way out there, but with that also comes a whole lot of uh, new stuff when you talk about what's going on in China, and I'm not going to touch on that so much because it doesn't necessarily really play into what we're doing here, but it does because China's in everything, but long story short, <clears throat> we came to a bit of a trade deal, and uh, that's going to hopefully ease some tensions between us and uh, the Chinese, and hopefully we can get some more money flowing between us, <clears throat> and again, I'm going to apologize, guys, I was kind of six past weekend, so I'm still kind of fighting off whatever's going on here. <clears throat> but uh, like I said, trying to keep it short, because I am all alone, and I kind of was hoping to have some conversations on what's going on with the markets and everything else, and it seems like things are semi-quiet, you know, there's not really all too much like swaying things one way or the other, you know, I don't think the Dem Democratic National Convention had much of an impact of anything. At least I'm not seeing any news that's showing that that's made much of an impact, but it is news. And we're not just going to bother touching on that because, again, as long as it doesn't affect the markets, we don't really care necessarily. So um, in short, let's uh, kind of just quickly go to the battleground. So we've kind of had some good picks and bad picks, and we've kind of been going through the watch list. In fact, that's where we're going to start today get you guys a view of what's going on and like I said be sure to you know leave a comment guys or like subscribe etc you know I'm looking for questions if you have something you want to ask one of our editors here in the future please let me know and we'll try to get them in and try to have them address it um, but yeah not much really going on in the portfolio in the watch list at least nothing of any sort of real interest that I'd really want to pay attention to except for I was actually looking at getting into take two interactive and uh, the reason being is for those in the gamer world, me, I'm not really necessarily a gamer. I'd be considered a faux gamer because there's only one game I really play, and that's Grand Theft Auto. And uh, Take-Two Interactive is in charge of creating that game, and they're having a fairly large release. I think it's on November 2nd. I could be wrong here. I mean, we can quickly Google it. But uh, what is it called? Um, Red Dead Redemption is supposed to release for PC. And this doesn't sound like a big deal, really, for oh, November, November 5th, apparently, is the day. But it um, doesn't really necessarily potentially seem like a big deal. But when you consider that Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive are responsible for probably the largest selling piece of media in, of all time, uh, and, and its success with Red Dead Redemption, I would only have to assume that uh, come November 5th, they're going to get a pretty good bump there. So... Let's kind of take a look, see what we got going on. Uh, let's go look for price concerns. So it's an earnings surprise, EPS surprise, because it's always a good chart to start on. And I looked at this company a while ago, and I didn't add it because they didn't have any big news coming in the future. But now they do. So at 123.45 currently and being down, F for value, C growth, D momentum, DVGM, you know, everybody here would probably tell you that to not do it. But um, 
you know, we always talk about buying into what you know and what you kind of believe in. And when it comes to Take Two Interactive, I really do believe that they just kind of own the games that kind of people want. And so, I mean, it's up, 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 and away. What did they, can we figure out when they report? You know, you're going to have to bear with me, guys, because I'm here all alone. I'm looking through a microphone. So, you know, if you guys can see, it's kind of tough to get my visual here. So stick with me. But this, again, will be a quick one. Um, take Two Interactive, though. Uh, where's my snapshot? Let's take a look, see, because uh, you know what? I might just pull the trigger on this one today and add it. <clears throat> oh, no, that's better. Move the microphone a little bit. Uh, I might just add it to my portfolio and then ditch it you know, shortly after the fifth. You know, EPS growth is positive. I mean, Q2's. You know, it says it's an agreement. I don't know why it's in red, but you know, I, I'm I'm looking at this. Next report date is on the seventh. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to pull the trigger on Take Two Interactive and add this to my uh, portfolio just because um, I think it's it's a winner, especially currently with what's going on. So I already have a portfolio, so we're just gonna stick it in there and it's added. We're gonna. I had some more shares, and sorry I had it. I kind of sworn I didn't buy it, but let's take a look, see real quick. Let's get the uh, good old Joker music going. Ah, there we go. Uh, nope. So I did just add it, didn't I? Yeah, I did just add it. So let's add some shares. Seeing it's a uh, hundred thirty dollars a share almost. Um, I don't want to, you know, put too much down, but I think in the short-term move, I'm willing to put down, say, four shares? Four, let's go four shares. Four shares seems like a reasonable gamble for this, especially considering their popularity. So I'm sure this is going to make my portfolio bounce around a little bit. <clears throat> let's see how it... Oop! I have no data. I guess that means because I'm awesome. Probably needs to refresh. Oh, there we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, well, somehow I popped. I don't think that's right. I'm gonna have to go back and check to see my values, and I'm not gonna do that with you guys sitting here on the line. But um, yeah, it looks like uh, my portfolio will hopefully get a nice boost here with Take Two Interactive. Um, but I just don't think there's any way that Red, 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 Red Dead Redemption isn't going to provide them some sort of huge influx of money just because of the popularity of it and then now it being available on PC and in terms of gaming PC players are probably the top of the heap when it comes to you know consumption of games and uh, they're also you know just a rabid bunch so they're really excited for this and I'm sure that it being now available especially with the offerings they have with the online etc this is going to be a huge win for them so um, I'm going to grab it at this little discount. I don't think it's too much, but uh, I'm, I'm willing to pull the dice until November 7th when they announce. And then if it's a winner, it's a winner. If it's a loser, well, you'll see me here again, and we'll all just have a good laugh about it, right? So um, don't forget, guys, uh, you know, we have uh, Zach's Ultimate, which is our all-encompassing all encompassing service that gets you into all the different portfolios run by all our editors here. It uh, gets you a little bit of everything. You can pick, choose, or you know, go in between, depending on what your style of trading is. And uh, with that, guys, I'm going to say I will see you next week with uh, you know Kevin Cook for sure, and Danny will hopefully be back. So see you guys soon.